Today then I learn the application of this Castle Glass Serum. Castle Glass. Second Serum. Now for the beam having a change of I now suppose this is a, a beam can deliver is subjected to load 20 kN and again subjected to UDL 20 kN per meter suppose so this length is 2 meter and this is 3 meter so this is I and this is 2I so now we know the delta i is equal to integration m in dou m by dou p i into dx upon e i. This is the uh, formula for this Castellan's second theorem. So now you have to choose the sections. Now this is not uniform, so you have to take the section here also and also the here also for this in the 2i section also in the i section. So for this application of this theorem, we have to apply a fictitious force where we desire the uh, deflection. Now suppose we desire the deflection at this point B. Okay, at three end, so apply here the, the fictitious force a P and this length is the same as it is a 5 meter. So now prepare the table for this here that is origin, then the limit, then EI, then MX, and then do M by do P. Now origin is the B now for this is what limit is 0 this is 2 and this total is the 5 so origin is O B and limit is 0 to 2 now for this section is a EI is EI now bend moment now here bend moment at a distance X from the B so bending moment for this beam also and bending moment for this beam also addition of both the bending moments. So that is a, this create the hogging bending moment. So minus 20 into x so minus again we will 20x into x by 2 so 20x square by 2. Now this is the uh, bending moment for this beam. Now application of the fictitious force P again bending moment is minus Px. So partial derivative with respect to p is the minus x then again our origin is the b now we are not changing our origin now take section in this here because of change of this i now this is our x now from here for this also is our x so now from here is our x already we have written the equation for this 0 to 2 now limit is is 2 to 5 now for this is i is equal to yes, 2 ei then bend moment equation for this is minus 20 x minus 20 x square by 2 minus p x again partial derivative of this equation is minus x now we are putting this value into this equation here. So delta 
b is equal to integration 0 to 2 minus 20x minus this become 12 x square minus p into x into minus x into dx divided by ei yeah. this 20 by 2 is 10 then plus now limit is 2 to 5 minus 20x minus 10x square minus p into x minus x now here is dx divided instead of i is a 2i now put here as per procedure p is equal to 0 because this p is a fictitious force so now modify this equation in integration 0 to 2 minus 20x minus 10x square into minus x dx by ei plus integration 2 to 5 minus 20x minus 10x square minus x now dx upon 2 so calculation of this both the equation that is equal to now for this is 93.33 divided by ei and for this is plus 1151.25 divided by ei is equal to 1244.58 ei Now we take the uh, again the another example. And suppose suppose this is a beam like this, a simply supported beam here. Also here. Now here is a two i. Here is i. Here is i. Now this distance is two. Distance is two. Distance is two. Now the load is applied. Suppose it's one twenty. Now suppose this point is C. This is A and B. We want the a deflection at C inside the center. So now. Here we want to first find out the reactions. So 20 at the center. So reaction is there. 60 kN. And this is 60 kN. Now. In the case of this theorem. We have to apply the fictitious force. Where we desire deflection in the direction of the force. So this is again the beam. Is having the. 6 meter span now apply here the load P so again find the reaction here is 0.5P and this is 0.5P so now here we have to divide the beams in the different section so this is our one section again from here to here this is a change of i so again again here from the right side this is our section again this is our section so now prepare this we prepare the table that is that is no. origin then a limit then the EI then MX then do M by do P now here origin is our A now limit is 0 to 2 then here EI is EI now, bend moment for this beam is what? Is 60 
now this is our now is x this is the x 60 x for this beam and this beam is plus 0.5 px now partially due to this 0.5 x then again our origin is a from here now for this section again now this is our x from here to here limit is now this is 0 this is 2 uh, this is central so it is, this is a 1 meter so this becomes a here 3 ok so 2 to 3 limit here now here i is equal to this 2 ei again when the equation is 60x plus 0.5 px 60 into x plus again what 0.5 into 0.5 p into x again derivative is x now again for this now we are taking original as our b now again this is our uh, one six first section here what is here 0 to 2 again e i is equal to e i when moment is 60 x plus 0 0.5 p x again is 0 0.5 x now again for this section this is our 0 this is our 2 and this is our is 3 so origin is b and 2 2 3 then here for this section is 2 ei then again equation is what 60 now this is our x x for this is now is x 60 x plus 0.5 px into 0.5 x so now this load is at the symmetry so we can make it here the twice for this limit because 0 to 2 0 to 2 both values are the same so now we write the equation here that is delta c is equal to write the twice integration 0 to 2 60x plus 0.5px into 0.5x dx divided by ei and then again plus integration this 2 to 3 this integration is 2 to 3 and again this is the same so we are again making the twice here so twice 60x plus 0.5px into 0.5x dx now here is 2i so 2i now we can put here p is equal to 0 so modify this equation so this becomes 2 0 to 2 60x into 0.5x dx divided by ei plus integration 2 to 3 I mean twice 60x into 0.5x dx divided by 2ei now if you solve this equation this becomes the 160 divided by ei here and plus 190 divided by the EI so total is 350 EI this is the delta C now this is the application of this theorem for the change of the I thank you